Hello everyone. My name is Annette Duckworth, the president of SMILE Incorporated. SMILE is an acronym for Services to Maintain Independence and Life Efficacy. SMILE would like to first thank Four Community Investments for this grant opportunity. SMILE's mission is to lower recidivism rates by encompassing our um, underprivileged Black African American men that's incarcerated through any institution connected to the Department of Correction, whether they're in the general population or mental health population, and restore their foundational morals, their education, financial literacy, and their whole health. Their whole health consists of spiritual health, emotional health, mental health, and physical health. And SMILE's three-year vision is to be able to integrate helping women, young adults as well. SMILE's 10-year vision is to have established a rapport within the community and a successful unified collaboration with the Department of Corrections, potential investors, bankers, philanthropists, and com um, community supporters, um, such as um, local school districts, um, pastors, outreach ministries, um, community councils, in order to make a difference in our greater Milwaukee by helping our underserved, underprivileged Black African American men stop recidivating. And one way to help stop recidivate is to educate. We have to come together and help educate our community. Without education, we cannot move forward in anything. We understand that government, the society, is built on white supremacy. White supremacy gets their power through education. They're, they're educated over the black African American communities. They go to school and they're given prestige um, schools, Howard Universities, they get into all of these schools and get educated through their white supremacy. But how can we as black, as the black community, stop white supremacy? <laughs> Let me inform you, we cannot. But one thing we can do is meet them where they are. Trump is trying to come into office and take away from the low income, take away everything from us and give to the middle class and the rich. So I decided to have SMILE help our black African American community make it to middle class by education, educating them, financial literacy must be given. So here at SMILE Incorporated, we are trying our best um, to use the grant that's offered to us through for community investment for operation cost um, and sponsorship. We need to sponsor as many black African Americans as we possibly can through the GED program. We know that each GED program through MATC who I collaborate with um, is $165 per person. With the grant through four community investments, I'm looking to help at least 10 black underprivileged African Americans per month, which is $1,650 to get help them receive their GED so that they can excel to greatness through education, financial literacy, and get better jobs. Um, because SMILE feels the impact of the funds will rise the percentage rates of the decrease in recidivism rates and the increase in the education rates, better jobs and financial literacy. So SMILE needs your help by going to smilethekeytosuccess.com, smilethekeytosuccess.com to help sponsor as many black African American males as you possibly can through donations of $165, which will give each person their chance at receiving their GED. Thank you so much.